Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I've got an interesting question for you. What will happen in a drag race between three different versions of the Volkswagen Golf GTI? You see, I'm sitting in the normal GTI. Next to me is the diesel version, also known as the GTD. And next to that is the high performance version of this GTI, the GTI Club Sport. So let me tell you about these cars. They all have two litre, four cylinder turbocharged engines, petrol engines in the case of the GTIs and a diesel engine, obviously in the case of the GTD. They've all got seven speed dual clutch automatic gearboxes with launch control. They are all front wheel drive. Now let me talk you through the power outputs. This normal petrol GTI has 245 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. The GTD has 200 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. The GTI Club Sport has 300 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. They're all very similar in weight. So this normal GTI weighs in at 1448 kilos, the GTD at 1465 kilos, and the GTI Club Sport at 461 kilos. So it's actually slightly heavier than this normal GTI. And you think it wouldn't be, you think it'd be lighter because it's the Club Sport. In terms of pricing, the cheapest version is the GTD at just under 33,000 pounds. This normal GTI, 33,500 pounds, and the GTI Club Sport is just over 37,000 pounds. Anyway, that's enough of all the stats and information blah 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 we're going to drag race but before we do please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on that way you will not miss a single one of these drag race uploads buying a new car then head to car wow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price car wow your one-stop car buying comparison site before we race as ever we're going to do a sound check i don't think this is going to be particularly good soft limiters you know what i'm going to say this sounds like I think the editor will just add in the meme. Go on, rumble up your GTD. Well, it sounds lovely in here, but I suspect that might be something to do with the stereo. Do you know what's really saddening? The fact that actually I didn't think it sounded any worse than this one, <laughs> really? What's happened to the petrol GTI? Blame those petrol particulate filters for just muting the noise. Let's hear the Club Sport, see if that's better because it's the Club Sport. I literally can't hear anything from here. It's not better, is it? Let's move on quickly. Three, two, one. Spinach of the wheels. That's what happens when you have the ESC off. Club Sport's off. Oh, done. Second place. Club Sport, how was that for you? Yeah, it's really, really good. It, it's got a good launch control, but it allows a huge amount of wheel spin, but it seemed to just destroy everything else. So it's like about four grand more than this normal GTI. Was that victory worth four grand? Yes. Always. <laughs> Spoken like a true racing driver. GTD, we were kind of neck and neck to begin with, but then diesel ain't got the revs, has it? Yeah, this thing only revs to four and a half, so I was out of puff really quickly. So then what exactly happened? Well, the GTI Club Sport came first, completing the standing quarter mile in 13.4 seconds. The regular GTI was next with a time of 14 seconds and the GTD came last with a time of 15.1 seconds for the quarter mile. Now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour with the cars in comfort setting, automatic modes of the gearbox and let's see what happens. I'm going to call it in three, two, one, go, kick down. Why was this so slow to kick down? Am I just slow responding? Now I'm finally catching the GTD. Back to the sports gone. That's it. Hmm. I wasn't happy with that. I'm not sure what happened with my kick down there. We've pretty much got the same gearboxes, right? And my car just floundered. Club Sport, were you like building up your boost slightly just to get an edge? And I don't trust you. No, I was, in fact, I actually backed out of it because I accelerated hard to catch up to get level with you guys and then I had to back out of it and then you said 3, 2, 1, go and then the GTD got the jump on me but then once this kicked down after about 25 minutes, it went. <laughs> Basically, we're talking about a horsepower difference here and that's what happened, <laughs> isn't it? Who knew? Who knew? The car with the most horsepower won. All right, we're going to do the same again but this time, car's in sports mode and locked in third gear, manual shifts. 
three, two, one, go. Well, I say manual shifts, so you don't have to shift manually, look, it'll automatically shift up because it's a GTI, not an R. Uh, this is really showing the power difference here. Anyone who thinks that their GTD is as quick as a normal GTI is sorely mistaken, aren't they, Mr. GTD? Yeah, absolutely. This thing is nowhere near as quick and no magic diesel torque out of nowhere like last time. Couldn't hold on. And that club sport is noticeably quicker than the normal GTI. I'll ask you the question again. Is that definitely worth four grand to you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right, next. Now we can have a brake test from 70 miles an hour when we hit the line, full emergency stop. Just so you know, that Club Sport has upgraded brakes over the normal GTI. They're from the Golf R, whereas this GTI and GTD have the same brakes. So let's see what happens. Also, these two have the same tyres, whereas the Club Sport has Goodyear tyres. Here we go. And here comes the line. Okay, now this is a quick shout out to all the people out there who watch these brake tests and say they're completely inaccurate because I think the result of this brake test shows that we are quite accurate in our brake testing because this car and the GTD have the same brakes but the GTD is slightly heavier. As a result, it took probably an extra 50 centimetres to stop. The Club Sport is heavier than this normal GTI but it has upgraded brakes and different tyres and it took probably about 50 centimetres less than this normal GTI to stop. So there you go, you keyboard warriors. Take that. Anyway, uh, Club Sport won everything. Obviously, it's the most expensive and it's worth it, according to the guy driving it. Now, I would just like to say a huge thanks to the guy who lent me this GTI to hoon around in and break and do all this kind of stuff. If you want to follow him, in fact, please do me a favour to say thank you to him. Go over to his Instagram. It's balmoral underscore dries and follow him there. Okay, annoy him with loads of like follows and DMs. That'll teach him for lending us a car. <laughs>